do 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 Oh, hello. Welcome to our cafe. The best cafe in the world. <laughs> oh, that sounds like Ben back from shopping. Oh, I'm back. Hello, everyone. Oh, oh. oh it's a bit windy out there. Oh, I finished all the shopping. Oh, small, I found this fantastic new bread. It's all long and thin. Oh, wait till you see it. It'll knock your socks off. <laughs> Woo! Uh. Oh, whoops! <laughs> I think it just did blow my socks off. <laughs> and my shoes, too. <laughs> oh, sorry, Small. <laughs> Come on, Small, we've got a customer. Better get your shoes and socks back on. OK, Ben, I'm on my way. Who's our customer today, Small? Well, he's got a black hat and a black beard. <laughs> Anything else, Small? And he's got a parrot on his shoulder. Parrot on his shoulder. <laughs> oh, then it must be a pirate. Har! You're right, Ben. It is a pirate. Percy the pirate. I bet he's got loads of buried treasure and a pirate ship to sail the seas. Not today, though. It's probably too wet and windy to sail on the seas. We better make something really tasty for him then. Good idea, Ben. What can we cook for him? Um, how about fish and ships? <laughs> fish and ships? Fish and ships, you know, like fish and chips, but fish and ships. <laughs> Pirates don't eat ships, they sail in them. What would a pirate like to eat? I think it's time to look in my book. <laughs> We need a story to help us cook. Let's take a look in Little Cook's book. Little Cook's adventures in the big world. Let me see. Pirates. Pirates. Oh, yes, I remember. One day I went to a desert island. I was feeling a bit lost all by myself on the beach. But I wasn't worried because I'm quite good at finding my way about. You have to be when you're as little as me. So I looked around to see what I could see. I could see pebbles, a crab, some shells, palm trees and the sea. And I could see something else. Big footprints! And do you know who they belong to? Someone with big feet. So I followed the big footprints all the way along the beach and I found Percy the Pirate and a parrot on his shoulder which was nearly as big as me. And both of them were looking very sad. I'm supposed to be finding the treasure, said Percy the pirate. The other pirate sent me from the pirate ship to find the treasure, but I can't find it anywhere. Where is it supposed to be? I asked him. I've been given a treasure map, and the treasure is marked by a cross, but I can't work out where it is on the beach. Percy the pirate showed me the treasure map. On the map, there were some pictures and a big cross. Now, as I said, I'm quite good at finding my way about, and I worked out where the treasure would be. First, we had to find two trees, then a river, and the treasure would be marked with a cross. So we found the trees and the river, and then we found the treasure. We dug up the treasure, and Percy the pirate and his parrot were so happy, we danced the night away until it was time for the pirate to go back to his ship. Little Cook to the rescue once again! That was a great adventure. Ha ha! That were a mighty fine story there, shipmate Little Cook Small. Ha ha! Buried treasure. Way! Or should I say, ha ha! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I wonder if there's any buried treasure in our garden, Small. Oh, can we go digging for it? Oh, not now. It's still raining, Small. We better wait till later. Oh, never mind, Ben. Let's think about what we can cook for Percy the Pirate. Well, we know what pirates really like. Treasure! <laughs> you can't eat treasure, Ben. You're right, Small. Hmm, try again. What to cook for a pirate? Hmm. <laughs> 
cookery book. There's recipes for everything in there. And where do we look for things to cook? In the book. In the book. In Big Cook's book. Oh yes, here it is. The very thing for a pirate's lunch. Pirate's gold. Oh, <laughs> oh brilliant. Percy the pirate will love it. It looks just like a treasure chest. Come on, Small. Let's get cooking. What does it say we need? OK, let's see. We're going to need cheese. OK. Over to the fridge. Here we go. Cheese, yep, got that small. An egg. Egg. One egg. Got the egg. Plain flour. Flour in the cupboard. Here we go. Plain flour, yep. A baguette. Oh, one tasty baguette. Yes. And tin sweet corn. Right, um, there we go. Tin sweet corn. Got that as well. Brilliant. Here we are. Everything we need for the recipe. Ben, what turns the nuggets golden? Ah, well, that's the most important ingredient, Small. The sweet corn. It's yellow. And yellow sweet corn will make the golden treasure. Sweet corn? Where does it come from? From this tin. <laughs> no, I mean before it goes into the tin, Ben. <laughs> oh, well, um, I don't know. But why don't you whiz off and find out, little cook? That's a great idea. I'll be back in a jiffy. Woohoo! Hey, why don't you come along too? <laughs> go small, go small, whiz away! I wonder what he'll see today. Here we are. What a beautiful day. These plants are really tall. They're called corn on the cob. Sweet corn grows inside those green leaves. This farmer is going to pick the sweet corn. First of all, he has to check that the sweet corn inside the leaves is ripe and ready to pick. This one isn't ready. This one isn't ready either. Oh, it's like a jungle. Here's some more corn on the cob. Is it ripe? Yes, it's ripe and ready to pick. If you peel back the leaves, you can see the sweet corn. That's called a kernel of corn. Sweet corn is bright yellow and tastes delicious. It's the colour of pirate's gold. I'd better get back to the cafe. See you later. golden treasure. Oh, oh, lovely golden sweet corn treasure, that is. <laughs> I've hidden a little bit of sweet corn treasure for me old matey little cook small to find under his cup. Shh. Hey! I'm back! Ben, you'll never guess, corn grows on big plants as tall as you. <laughs> <laughs> and when it's cooked, sweet corn can be eaten on the cob or off the cob as little golden nuggety pieces, like in our tin. <laughs> Talking of golden nuggety pieces, Small, I've hidden a little bit of golden treasure for you to find me, Hearty. <laughs> oh, brilliant. Treasure. <laughs> but that's for later. We better get on with the recipe now, Small. Our pirate customer will be getting very hungry. So, we're all ready, so take a look. And we will show you how to cook. Jelly boats and pirates gold, princess pea pies, carrot cakes and fruity smiles, and envelope surprise. We love our cafe and we love to cook. We have a fantastic recipe book. He is big. 
cook and he is small Friends in our cafe, we cook for them all When your tummy gets all rumbly, you're ready for a treat You can make something delicious to eat Have you cleaned the surfaces? Yes. Have you washed your hands? Yes. All clean and ready to cook. Do you remember the ingredients to Pirate's Gold? You do? There was cheese, half a cup, egg, one, plain flour, two tablespoons, a baguette, a quarter, and tin sweet corn, half a cup. Whoopee! Let's get started! Now, the first thing we're going to do is turn on the oven to 200 degrees Celsius. Gas mark six. And make sure you get your grown-up helper to do that bit for you because remember, the oven is hot, hot, hot. Now we can get on with the recipe. So, I've cut this piece of baguette in half, but not all the way through. That's a job for your grown-up helper to do. This is going to be our treasure chest. So, we're going to start hollowing out our treasure chest by taking the bread away and pop it into a bowl. And I'll do this piece at the top. There we are. That should give enough space for our golden nuggety pieces. There. So the next thing we want to do is start to crumble down these pieces of bread. Make them a little bit smaller. OK. Let's get them all done. Just break them up. Wow! And now we can add the egg. In it goes. There we are, that's the egg. And we're going to mix the cheese and the sweet corn all together in a bowl with a wooden spoon. Let's give it a good old mix up there. Be careful with the mixing, Ben. Of course, Maul. <laughs> you know what happens when you start mixing. Do -do 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 -do. What's that? Do -do 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 -do. You get all excited. <laughs> <laughs> and a big blob of mixture. <laughs> <laughs> Splatters all over me. <laughs> Do -do 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 -do. <laughs> what are you doing, Small? You've got gunk all over you. <laughs> I think I'd better go and clean myself up. <laughs> Whoops. Sorry, Small. <laughs> Good idea. Right. Now, this next bit can get a little bit sticky. What I'm going to do is add the flour to the mixture. This will help it to go a bit more solid. And I'll give it a quick stir with the spoon. Round and round we go. And then... With my nice clean hands, I'm going to give it another mix. So, I'll put a little bit more flour onto the board and a little bit onto my fingers to stop the mixture sticking to me. There we go. And in we are. Right, we're going to roll the mixture into little balls, like that. There we are. And I'll pop it onto the board and give it another roll around in the flour to give it an extra floury coating. There we go. And then we can pop it onto a greased baking tray. That's one done. I'll just make a few more. So roll it round. It's a little bit sticky to start with. There, all cleaned up. Aha, me hearties. Do you remember Captain Ben hit some treasure for me to find? Can you help me find it? Over here? No. Is it over here? No. There. That's the last of the golden nuggets, so all we need to do now is pop them in the oven. So, oven gloves on, and over we go. And make sure you get your grown-up helper to pop them in the oven for you, because remember, the oven is hot, hot, hot. There we go. And into the oven they go. For ten minutes. Or set the timer for ten minutes. Tell me if I'm close to the buried treasure. Say warm if I'm close and cold if I'm far away. Huh? Cold. Warm, eh? <laughs>
There, the nuggets have cooked and cooled now. Oh, lovely and golden brown. Cold, eh? I'll try over here. Warm. Warmer still. I wonder if my treasure's under my cup. <whistles> Yippee! Oh, thank you. My sweet corn treasure. Brilliant! Ho 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 ho! Well done, Small. Right, now it's time for me to put these into the treasure chest. Now, I've already put some lettuce and tomato in as dressing, and I'm going to pile in the golden nuggets. Two, three, four, and five. There! When we close the lid, it looks just like a real treasure chest. Oh, that looks brilliant! And it smells delicious! Yes, it does. Here we go. Pirate's gold coming through. There. All done. So what do we do now? Can we play? Not yet. Time to clean and put away. Hooray! Wash, wipe, scrub and clean. Make the kitchen sparkle and gleam. My name's Ben and my name's Small. We've got the cleanest kitchen of all. Tidy all the bits and bobs, the things that help us do our job. Ingredients we'll put away, ready for use another day. Pots and pans will start to smell if we don't wash them really well. And now it's clear, let's all smile. We'll be finished in a little while. All around, up and down, we've got the cleanest cafe in town. Ho -ho! Here comes the plate! Ho ho ho! It looks like Percy enjoyed his pirate's gold! And look, Small, he's left a note. Well, what does it say? What does it say? Let's see, shall we? <laughs> it says, <clears throat> Dear Big Cook Ben and Little Cook Small, that were the tastiest pirate's gold I ever did nibble on! <laughs> ho ho ho! <laughs> Thank ye, Here's a little something for ye. It's from me very own treasure chest. <gasps> Small! Look! It's real pirate's gold! Our very own treasure! Ho ho ho! See you soon! See you soon! <laughs> ho ho! Big cook, little cook. We'll cook for everyone! Do 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 do. Hello. Welcome to our cafe. The best cafe in the world. <laughs> We're just having a good tidy up today. I'm doing the kitchen and Ben's doing the cafe. Small. Small. Oh, something awful's happened. What? What is it, Ben? Oh, hello, everyone. I've lost my gold ring. Oh, no. Oh, well, I tried it on this morning. I'm sure I did. But just now in the cafe, I looked at my hand and it was gone. Well, I'll help you look for it. I know how precious it is. Oh, yes, it's very precious. It was a birthday present from my granddad. Well, don't worry, Ben. We'll find it. Oh, but it's so tiny, Small, and the cafe is so big. It could be anywhere. <coughs> oh, dear, and now we've got a customer. Well, don't worry, Ben. I'll go see who it is and you keep looking. I'm on my way! Whee! Who's in our cafe today, Small? Well, it's got black and white feathers, wings and a beak. Oh, so it's a bird. Oh, is it a penguin? <laughs> it's not a penguin, Ben. It's a bird called a magpie. A magpie? I heard you could bring good luck if you said, Good morning, Mr. Magpie. Where's your brother? Go on, Small, say it. OK, Ben. Good morning, Mr. Magpie. Where's your brother? <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> Sorry. 
It's not a Mr. Magpie, it's a Mrs. Magpie, and her name's Monica. I'm sure I've met Monica before. I think it's time to look in my book. <laughs> We need a story to help us cook. Let's take a look in Little Cook's book. Little Cook's adventures in the big world. Let me see. One day I was having a walk in the woods when suddenly something landed on my head. It was a piece of silver cloth which glittered in the sunlight. Sorry, called a voice from above me. I looked up and saw Monica the magpie peeping down at me from her nest. I love collecting shiny things, but my nest is so full that bits and pieces keep falling out. I've got so much shiny stuff up here, I don't know what to do with it all. I think I can help you there, I said. I took Monica the magpie to meet a friend of mine whose name was Manjit. Manjit was supposed to be making a shiny picture to take to school, but she didn't have any shiny things. Monica the magpie was very interested. Well, if it's shiny stuff you're after, you're talking to the right bird, she called cheerfully. All afternoon, Monica flew backwards and forwards between her nest and Manjit's house. She brought Manjit shiny paper and ribbon, glittery material and sparkly sequins. Manjit was delighted! Whoopee! I know just what I'm going to make now, she said happily. And she made a beautiful collage of a shiny magpie sitting in her sparkly nest. Manjit and Monica the magpie were both very pleased with their day's work. Manjit was really proud of her picture and Monica now had some room in her nest so she could start collecting more shiny things. Way! Little Cook to the rescue once again! That was a great adventure. Oh, I loved the collage that Manjit made. Didn't it look fantastic? It was brilliant, wasn't it? Monica's collection of shiny things was just what she needed. Oh, small. I've just thought. My gold ring was really shiny. Perhaps Monica found it and took it back to her nest to add to her collection. She can't have, Ben. You lost your ring before she came to the cafe, remember? Oh, yes, you're right, Small. Oh, I'll be so upset if I don't find it. It must be somewhere. Let's find a recipe for our hungry magpie, and when it's cooked, we can carry on with our search. OK, then. What can we cook for Monica? I know, Big Cook's Big Cookery Book. Of course, the Big Cookery Book. There's recipes for everything in there. And where do we look for things to cook? In the book, in the book, in Big Cook's Book. I don't suppose there's any shiny recipes, Ben. You suppose wrong, my little friend. Look, a fruity nest. The perfect recipe for our birdie customer. And even better, Small, you use shiny foil to make the nest. That's spot on perfect. Let's make it. Come on then, little cook. You read out the ingredients and I'll see if we've got them. OK, let's see. We're going to need honey. Honey, over to the cupboard. Here we go. Honey, got that small. Lemon. In here, there we go. Got the lemon. A cooking apple. There we go. Nice big green cooking apple. Yep. Summer berries. Ooh. It says here we can use tinned, fresh or frozen. We're going to use fresh. There we go. And frozen yoghurt. Frozen yoghurt. Oh, there we go. Nice and cold. Yep. There we are. Everything we need for the recipe. Frozen yoghurt's really interesting. But I wonder how it's made. Hey, why don't you whiz off on a yoghurty mission and find out, and I'll get everything ready. That's a great idea. See you later. Hoo hoo hoo! Hey, why don't you come along too? Way! Go small, go small, whiz away! I wonder what he'll see today. There's a train! Choo choo! This is the right 
that place? This is where frozen yoghurt is made. First of all, we need some water. The next ingredient is cream. There are lots of ingredients used to make frozen yoghurt and they all have to be mixed up together. Mixy, mixy, mixy! This sugar adds a little sweetness to the frozen yoghurt. When the mixture has been heated up and cooled down, it goes through some pipes. Hee hee, here it comes! Gloop, gloop. <laughs> it's being collected in big tubs. Oh, it looks yummy and it's really, really cold, but it's not frozen yet. To make it freeze, it has to be put in the freezer. It's really cold in there. On a hot day like this, frozen yoghurt is just what you need to cool down. These girls and boys look like they're really enjoying it. Mmm, yummy! That was great! See you later! <laughs> Ah, right, everything's ready now. So while I wait for Small to get back, I think I'll have another look for that ring. Maybe it's down here. Way, I'm back! And I found out all about frozen yoghurt. It's squeezed through a big pipe, and then it's put in the freezer. <laughs> ben, how's the search going for your ring? Not too well, I'm afraid. Still no luck finding it, then. We'll find it, I know we will. I hope you're right, Small. No time for worrying now, Ben. We've got work to do. Come on, then. Let's get cooking. We're all ready, so take a look. And we will show you how to cook. <music> Jelly boats and pirates go. Princess pea pies. Carrot cakes and fruity smiles. And envelope surprise. We love our cafe and we love to cook. We have a fantastic recipe book. He is big cook and he is small. Friends in our cafe, we cook for them all. When your tummy gets all rumbly, you're ready for a treat. You can make something delicious to eat. Have you cleaned the surfaces? Yes. Have you washed your hands? Yes. All, All clean and, and ready, ready to cook. cook. Do you remember the ingredients for Fruity Nest? You do. There was honey. One tablespoon. Lemon. The juice of half. A cooking apple. One. Summer berries. Four tablespoons. And frozen yoghurt. Four tablespoons. Whoopee! Let's get started. Now, the first thing we need to do is turn on the oven to 200 degrees Celsius, gas mark 6. And remember, this is a job for your grown-up helper to do because the oven is hot, hot, hot. Then put the berries and honey into a mixing bowl and use a fork to mix them and squeeze the fruit a bit. Now give them a good old mix-up. Then you add the four tablespoons of frozen yoghurt and mix it all up again. Hoo-hoo! Lovely and mushy. Pour the mixture into a container, then put it in the freezer for three hours. In it goes. All in. Pop on the lid. And over to the freezer.
It's in the freezer now, Small. What's next? Have you washed the apple? Certainly have, Small. Now you need to take out the core and make sure the hole's big enough for the filling. OK. Here we go. And make sure you get your grown-up helper to do this bit for you. Then you need to brush the inside of the apple with lemon juice. And we'll need some silver cooking foil. I'll go and get that, Small. Brushing the middle of the apple with lemon juice stops it from going brown. There you go, Ben. Thanks, Small. Brushing on the lemon. After you've brushed the inside of the apple with lemon, cover it in foil. So we wrap the apple in the foil like this. Oh, ho, it's lovely and shiny. Then pop it onto a baking tray and then put it in the oven for 35 minutes. So, oven gloves on and over we go. There we go. And remember, this is a job for your grown-up helper to do. In the oven it goes for 35 minutes until it's nice and soft, but not mushy. I'll set the timer to 35 minutes. Hey, Small, I've just remembered a rhyme. It's all about different numbers of magpies and what that's supposed to mean. Oh, let's hear it then, Ben. OK. It goes like this. One for sorrow, two for joy, three for a girl, four for a boy, five for silver, six for gold, seven for a secret never to be told. I think Monica will bring us good luck and we'll find that ring of yours, Ben. <laughs> The apple is cooked, and the frozen mixture's ready too. OK, here we go. Out it comes. Close that. There we go. What's next, Small? You carefully open the foil and make a nest shape with it around the apple. OK, and remember, this is a job for your grown-up helper to do because the foil is hot, hot, hot. Opening it out and roll it up a little around the edge. Then you put the apple and the foil nest onto a plate and put the yoghurt and fruit mixture into the middle of the apple. OK, here we go. Onto the plate. And let's scoop in the yoghurt. This looks tasty. A little more, I think. Last thing, if you have a few berries left, you can use them to decorate the top of the apple. And it just so happens we have. Ta-da! Sprinkle them on. There we go. One shiny fruity nest coming through. There. All done. So what do we do now? Can we play? Not yet. Time to clean and put away. Hooray! Wash, wipe, scrub and clean Make the kitchen sparkle and gleam My name's Ben And my name's Small We've got the cleanest kitchen of all Tidy all the bits and bobs The things that help us do our job Ingredients we'll put away Ready for use another day Pots and pans will start to smell If we don't wash them really well And now it's clear, let's all smile We'll be finished in a little while Town. 
Ha-ha! Here comes the plate. Oh, yes. And it looks like Monica enjoyed her fruity nest. Look, Small, she's left a note. Well, what does it say? What does it say? <laughs> Let's see, shall we? It says, Dear Big Cook Ben and Little Cook Small, My apple was delicious. Thank you. And I love the shiny nest. Do you mind if I take it away with me? By the way, you know how good I am at spotting shiny things? Well, I spotted this under the table. So I'm going to give it to you as a thank you present. Love from Monica the Magpie. <laughs> I think I know what Monica's found. Do you? Oh, ha, ha, small! It's my ring. Monica's found my ring. Oh, 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 I must have dropped it earlier when I was cleaning the cafe. Oh, hey! oh I'm so happy I could jump for joy. In <laughs> fact, I think I will. Whee! <laughs> I knew you'd find it, Ben. <laughs> See, See you soon. soon. Woohoo! Big cook, little cook. We'll cook for everyone. Clean, 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 clean. Ooh! Hey, oh, hello. Welcome to our cafe, the best cafe in the world. I'm just doing the cleaning. Woo, woohoo! The counter gets a good polishing, and I get to go skating. Way! Yes. Okay then. See you tomorrow. Oh, oh, small, small. What is it, Ben? I've got a problem. Oh. You know my mum and dad are coming to stay with me tomorrow. Oh yes. Well, they've just rung to say they're going to bring my Uncle Len and my Auntie Jen, my cousin Den and his wife, Pen. But I haven't got enough beds for them. Where are they all going to sleep? Well, I'd love to help, Ben, but I think my egg cup's going to be a little bit too small <laughs> for them. <Yes. laughs> well, we'll have to worry about that later, Ben. We've got a customer. It's cooking time. Woohoo! <sighs> Who is it today, Small? Well, that's a surprise. She's wearing a crown and a beautiful dress. I'm not sure who that could be. Do you know? It's a princess! A princess in our cafe? Yes! Quick, Small, we better find her something to eat. You can't keep a princess waiting. You know, I think I know this princess. I think it's time to look in my book. We need a story to help us cook. Let's take a look in Little Cook's book. Little Cook's adventures in the big world. Let me see. There was once a princess who fell in love with a prince. They wanted to get married, but first the prince's family had to make sure that she was a real princess. So the prince's mother, the queen, put a tiny pea on the princess's bed, and on top of the pea, she put 20 mattresses, and on top of the mattresses, she put 20 duvets. And the princess had to go to bed on top of all that. The next day, the queen asked her how she'd slept, and the princess said, Oh, very badly. There was a big lump in my bed. I haven't slept a wink. When she heard this, the queen knew that only a princess could have skin soft enough to feel a tiny pea through all those mattresses. And so the prince and princess were married and lived happily ever after. Well, almost because sleeping on all those mattresses and duvets was giving the princess a few problems. First, it was taking her ages to climb into bed each night. Second, she kept bumping her head on the ceiling. And third, if she rolled over and fell out of bed, she had a long, long way to fall. But the princess had to sleep on all those mattresses and duvets, because otherwise she could feel every tiny lump in the bed. Then I had a brilliant idea. I took her a special bed called a hammock, a big comfy net. Now the princess didn't need to worry about any lumps and bumps. She loved her new bed and she slept like a dream. 
Little Cook Small to the rescue once again! That was a great adventure! Oh, well done, Small. The hammock was a great idea. Woohoo! Oh, thanks, Ben! But now we need another great idea. We need to cook a meal fit for a princess. Oh, yes, there's a princess in our cafe. Oh! <gasps> we could. Could... <sighs> I know, Big Cook's Big Cookery Book. Of course, the Big Cookery Book. There's recipes for everything in there. And where do we look for things to cook? In the book, in the book, in Big Cook's Book. Oh, small! Look at this! Princess pie! Woohoo! Well, would you believe it, Ben? A bed for a princess with a soft pea mattress. Oh, she'll love this. You read out the ingredients, small, and I'll go and see if we've got them. OK, let's see. We're going to need one packet of short crust pastry. Short crust pastry in the fridge. Here we are. Yes, got that. Short crust pastry. Then we're going to need some peas. Peas? Um, I'm not too sure about the peas, small. Double cream. Double cream, yes, got that, definitely. Double cream. Eggs. Two eggs. One and a two. And mint. Mint. Oh, yes, mint. Got that as well. Oh, is that everything? What about the peas, Ben? Oh, I don't think we've got any peas, Small. Well, don't worry, Ben. I'll whiz off and get some. Oh, yeah, and I'll get all the ingredients ready while you're away. Great idea, Ben. I'll be back in a jiffy. Hey, why don't you come along too? Whoa! Whoa. Go, Small! Go, Small! Whiz away! I wonder what he'll see today. Hey, hey, I've come to the right place here. That's a big red machine. It's collecting all the peas. There they are. The peas live inside those long green pods. What's that machine doing? It's sucking up all the peas. In they go. The peas are being taken out of their pods. Oh, look. There's three harvesters. One, two, three. And the one at the front has an orange flashing light. That means it's full of peas. And here's the tractor to collect them. Look at all those peas! Off they go. I wonder where they're going. Let's find out. There they are again. I've never seen so many peas. I bet the princess in my adventure wouldn't like all those peas under her mattress. Up, up and away! Wow, that machine's big. It's washing all the peas. Can you see the steam? Round and round. Here they come. Lovely, clean, round, juicy peas. Boing, 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 boing. The peas have now been frozen. And what are they doing? They're checking the peas and taking out any bad ones. It's very noisy in here. That lady's even wearing earmuffs. They'll keep out the noise. Where are they going? They're weighing them ready for packing. Each bag has the same number of peas in it. And there's the bags. Full of peas and ready to go to the shops. I've got mine. See you later. I'm back, Ben! Oh, no, I see. Well, of course, they must come with you. Y yes, that, that'll be fine. <laughs> OK, then. See you tomorrow. Bye. Oh. What now, Ben? That was my cousin, Den, on the phone. He wants to bring his children with him tomorrow. So now I've got my mum, my dad, my uncle Len and my auntie Jen, my cousin Den and his wife Pen, and their children, 
Ken, Glenn, Brent and Sven. Where are they all going to sleep, Small? Mm. Well, Ben, we'll have to worry about that later. Oh. It's time to start cooking. Oh, yes. There's a princess in our cafe. I'd completely forgot. Ooh. Did you get the piece, Small? Certainly did. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. <laughs> wow. It was brilliant. I saw this huge machine picking and podding the peas, and then the peas were taken to a factory where they were... Frozen. <laughs> so now the peas are lovely and fresh. Oh, yes. Sounds like we're all ready to cook, Small. We're all ready, so take a look. And we will show you how to cook. <laughs> Jelly boats and pirates gold. Princess pea pies. Carrot cakes and fruity smiles. And envelope surprise. We love our cafe and we love to cook. We have a fantastic recipe book. He is big cook and he is small. Friends in our cafe, we cook for them all. When your tummy gets all rumbly, you're ready for a treat. You can make something delicious to eat. Have you cleaned the surfaces? Yes. Have you washed your hands? Yes. All, All clean, clean and ready, ready to, to cook. cook. While you were away, Small, I've set the oven to 200 degrees Celsius, gas mark six. I've also chopped up the mint. Oh, smells lovely. And here, I've rolled out all the pastry, ready to go. Do you remember the ingredients for Princess Pie? You do? Let's see, then. There was short crust pastry, one packet, all rolled out, peas, one cupful, double cream, three tablespoons full, eggs, two, and mint. Mint, dried or fresh. All chopped up and ready to go. Whoopee! Let's get started. OK. Right, let's get the pastry ready. Now, I've cut the pastry into four slices, like that. Now, I'm going to tidy up the edges. Make sure you get your grown-up helper to do this bit for you. There we are. And small, can you use these leftover pieces to make little pillows for the beds? Okie dokie. Good catch, small. Now put the pastry pieces onto a greased baking tray. And then fold up the edges like this to make little walls. There. How's it going, Small? Here we are, Big Cook Ben. Put it on the bed. Oh, yes, little cook. That looks great. On it goes. A little pillow. Ooh, that looks really comfy. I've already put some water on to boil. Make sure you get your grown-up helper to do this bit for you. I'm putting the peas in to cook. There we are. And put the lid on, because they don't take long. All the beds are ready, Ben. Oh, they look great. Right, now I'm going to brush the egg all over the edges of the pastry. And the pillows. Mmm, yummy. I do love this recipe. It's time to mix the other egg. The cream. And the mint. All together in a mixing bowl. What about the peas, Ben? Oh, yes, Small. Oh, yes. Looks like the peas are ready. Now, you don't need to leave the peas to cook for too long. They should still be bright green. And make sure you get your grown-up helper to do this next bit for you. Drain the peas through a colander. In they go. And now, we add them to the rest of our mixture. Oh, yes. And mash them up. Give them a good squish. There we go. Mash till they're squashy. Mash till they're mushy, mushy. Back to the mash. Mash back to the mushy. Oh, yes. La, la, la. Hey! Hey! Oh! Oh! 
Watch it, Ben! Small? How did you manage to get so messy? It wasn't me, it was... Oh, never mind. What's next? All we have to do now is spoon in the mixture onto the beds. There we go, just like that. The pastry walls should stop the mixture from running everywhere. That looks great! <sighs> I'd better go and get cleaned up. <laughs> there. That's the last one done. Right. Put the tray in the oven. Now make sure you get your grown-up helper to do this bit for you because the oven is hot, hot, hot. In they go. And they need to cook for 30 minutes. Hang on, I'm ready now. I'll set the timer. For 30 minutes. There we go. So what do we do now? Can we play? Not yet, Small. Time to clean up and put away. <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> Wipe, scrub and clean Make the kitchen sparkle and gleam My name's Ben And my name's Small We've got the cleanest kitchen of all Tidy all the bits and bobs The things that help us do our job Ingredients well put away Ready for use another day Pots and pans will start to smell If we don't wash them really well And now it's clear, let's all smile We'll be finished in a little while All of What great timing! The princess pies are ready! Ha ha! Let's see how they look, shall we? Mmm, yummy! Oh, they look great! Let's get them over here, shall we? They look really nice! Mmm, they smell delicious! Right, pop one of them onto a plate. There we go. And let's get them into that princess. She must be really hungry by now. Over we go. Your Royal Highness! Your Royal Highness! Oh! 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 Hello? Yes? All right. Okay, then. Bye. Let me guess. You've got another visitor. Yes. My cousin children want to bring their dog as well. <gasps> so now tomorrow I've got coming my mum, my dad, my uncle Len, my auntie Jen, my cousin Bren and his wife Pen, and their children Ken, Glenn, Bren and Sven, and their dog <gasps> Rover. Where are they all going to sleep, Small? <coughs> oh, look. A lovely clean plate. Oh, yeah. It looks like our princess enjoyed the princess pie bed. And she's left us a note. Well, what does it say? What does it say? Let's see. It says, Dear Big Cook Ben and Little Cook Small. <gasps> we were most pleased with the princess pie bed. It was delicious. By the way, as we now sleep in a, in a hammock every night, we have no need for the 20 mattresses and 20 duvets at the palace. So we wondered if you might find them useful. Brilliant! What a lovely note. And look, now I've got 20 mattresses and 20 duvets and enough room for anyone who wants to come and stay. You've only got one more thing to worry about, Ben. Oh, what's that? What are you going to feed them all? <laughs> oh, yes, I know. <laughs> See you soon. See you soon. Big cook, little cook. We'll cook for everyone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hello. Welcome to our cafe. The best cafe in the world. <laughs> I'm staying out of Ben's way at the moment. He's in a terrible flap and I've got no idea why. His face looks like this. <laughs> you wait and see. Look, he's doing it again. <laughs> We've got a problem. <sighs> Calm down, Ben. Whatever's the matter? Oh, hello everyone. 
It's Aunt Millie's birthday and we haven't got her a present. Oh, it's Aunt Millie's birthday and we haven't got her a present. Oh, dear. Well, well maybe we could buy her one. Ben, we haven't got time. We're in the cafe all day. Uh, well, well, perhaps we could cook her something. You know what Aunt Millie's like about food? I don't like this. I don't like that. Well, what are we going to do? I don't know. I really don't know. Huh? We've got a customer. A customer? Well, customers come first, Ben. But we still need to get something for Aunt Millie's birthday. We'll have to think of that later, Small. Go and see who the customer is. I'm on my way! Who is it today, Small? I'll give you some clues. See if you can guess too. It's someone who likes growing silver bells and cockle shells and pretty maids all in a row. Is it a girl or is it a boy? It's a girl! A girl who likes spending lots of time in her garden. Oh, I think I know who it is. Is it Mary Mary? Yes, it is, Ben. It's Mary Mary, quite contrary, from the flower garden. Mary Mary, quite contrary, how does your garden grow? With silver bells and cockle shells and pretty maids all in a row. Oh, -ho! I bet she's hungry after all that watering and weeding. Now, what shall we cook for her? What would somebody who grows flowers like to eat? I think it's time to look in my book. We need a story to help us cook. Let's take a look in Little Cook's book. Little Cook's adventures in the big world. Let me see. This is a story about Mary Mary, who more than anything in the world loved her flower garden. Lots of people came to Mary's stall to buy her beautiful flowers. Sometimes a bunch of tulips, or daffodils, or sometimes just one rose. It was lucky Mary Mary had a big garden, just the place to grow lots and lots of different flowers. But to grow flowers, you need seeds. Today she was going to plant some more. She went to her shed and picked up a seed packet. She planted the seeds in little rows all over the garden and watered them with her watering can. Then there was nothing to do but wait for the seeds to grow. So she waited and waited and waited until one morning she came out and as far as the eye could see there were hundreds and hundreds of big green leafy things and not a single flower in sight. Mary Mary was so disappointed, she just sat down and cried. I knew I had to help. Poor thing, she thought she was a really bad gardener. But Little Cook Small knew better. I could tell straight away what the problem was. I started to pull up the leafy things and underneath the earth, I found carrots. Mary Mary realised she must have planted the wrong seeds. They weren't flower seeds, they were carrot seeds. And very good carrots they were too. We poured them up together until we had stacks and stacks of juicy orange carrots. Then we planted the flower seeds in the empty garden. Mary Mary was going to have to wait until the flowers grew. But in the meantime, she put a big display of lovely orange carrots on her stool. Then she made carrot soup, carrot cake and carrot juice for all her customers. Little Cook to the rescue once again! That was a great adventure. Well, roast my potatoes. Oh, <laughs> what a lovely story, Small. Way! Thanks, Ben. So what are we going to make for Mary Mary Quite Contrary? Well, why don't we make her some silver bells and cockle shells? <laughs> oh, no, Small. I don't think they'd be very tasty. Oh. This needs some careful thought. Hmm. Oh. Ah. I know! Big Cook's Big Cookery Book! Of course, the Big Cookery Book. There's recipes for everything in there. And where do we look for things to cook? In the book. In the book. In Big Cook's Book. Oh, yes. The very thing. Fancy flowers. Mary Mary will love these. They remind her of her garden. Come on, Small, you read out the ingredients and I'll see if we've got them. 
OK, let's see. We're going to need butter. OK, over to the fridge. Here we go. There we are. Butter. An egg. One egg. Got the eggs, small. Caster sugar. Oh, over in the cupboard. Here we are. Caster sugar. Yep. Plain flour. Oh, plain flour. There we go. And boiled sweets. Boiled sweets, boiled sweets. Uh, uh, yes. Oh, here we are. Everything we need, apart from the boiled sweets. I was a little bit hungry earlier, Small, and I ate them. They are my favourite. You've eaten all the boiled sweets? Well, don't worry, Ben. It's another job for Little Cook Small and his magic spoon mobile. Great idea, Small. And I'll get everything ready. Hey, why don't you come along too? Whee! Go, Small. Go, Small. Whiz away. I wonder what he'll see today. I'm in the right place here. This is where sweets are made. Sweets are made from sugar. All the ingredients are mixed together and heated up in a big pan. It's really hot. Look at all the steam. This one's turned red. He's going to make orange and red sweets. Ah, I love sweets, but I make sure I brush my teeth after eating them. It's all gooey. Yummy. That machine is rolling out the sweets. There's hundreds of sweets, but they're all joined together. When they've cooled down, they're all broken up. Sweets come in lots of pretty colours, just like the flowers in Mary Mary's garden. See you later. There. I think I've earned a nice tasty boiled sweet now. Did you bring any back, Small? Way! I certainly did, Ben. It was amazing watching the sweet maker. First he mixed lots of hot sticky stuff on a table. And as it cooled, he turned it into lots of colourful boiled sweets. And here they are. Whoa! Ho -ho! Thanks, Small. All measured out and ready to cook. We're all ready, so take a look. And we will show you how to cook. Jelly boats and pirates go, princess pea pies. Carrot cakes and fruity smiles And envelope surprise We love our cafe and we love to cook We have a fantastic recipe book He is big cook and he is small Friends in our cafe we cook for them all When your tummy gets all rumbly You're ready for a treat you can make something delicious to eat Have you cleaned the surfaces? Yes. Have you washed your hands? Yes. All, All clean, clean and, and ready, ready to, to cook. cook. Do you remember the ingredients to fancy flowers? You do. There was butter, 200 grams, an egg, one. Caster sugar, 200 grams, plain flour, 400 grams, and boiled sweets, six. Whoopee! Let's get started! First of all, I'm going to turn on the oven to 180 degrees Celsius, gas mark four. 
and make sure you get your grown-up helper to do that bit for you because the oven is hot, hot, hot. <laughs> and be careful not to fall over on one of those sweets, small. <laughs> as if I do something as daft as... <laughs> oh! Just making sure. Hmm. Right. I'm going to get these sweets sorted out once and for all. And I'm going to put the sugar and the butter a little bit more into a mixing bowl and I'm going to cream them both together. Creaming is a special kind of mixing. Here we go. All the red ones first. One, two, three. There we are. All nice, pale, creamy and fluffy. So now it's time to add your egg. In it goes, and I'm going to give it a good stir, round and round, get it all mixed in. Now it's time to sort the yellow sweets. One, two, three, four. Now we need this to be a little bit thicker, and what makes things thicker? That's right, flour does. Hey, so I'm going to add in our flour a little bit at a time. There we are. And as I'm doing this, I'm going to give it a bit of a stir with the spoon. In it goes. Keep stirring. Mix it all in together. And last of all, the orange. I wonder how many there are. One, two, three. Here we are. Oh, and this is the fun part. Now I'm going to squidge it up with my nice clean hands. Here we go. Oh, yes. Give it a good old scrunch up. This will teach you sweets. Keep you in order. <laughs> there are five red, four yellow, and three orange. There we are. Look at that. Perfect. So now I need to roll it out to make the biscuits. I've already floured the board, so I just need to start rolling it. There we are. Turn it round. Very good. There we are. There'll be no more slipping over on sweets. <laughs> oh, these biscuits are going to be very tasty. And they're going to look just like the flowers in Mary Mary's garden. So, I'm going to use this flower-shaped pastry cutter to cut out the biscuits. So, I'm going to pop it down on there. Press down. <sighs> And then, oh, up it comes. I'm going to scoop it up. There we are, nice and careful. And pop it onto a grease baking tray. There. And now I need to use this round pastry cutter to take a little hole out of the middle. On it goes. Twist it, and out it comes. There's one. And now for another. Mary, Mary, is such a beautiful garden. I wish we had silver bells and cockle shells in our garden. It would make the vegetable patch look so pretty. And just finish off the last one. There we are. These holes are going to be for our boiled sweets, which we're going to pop in later. We need to let them cook a little first. So, in the oven they go for ten minutes until they're nice and golden. I'll set the timer. For ten minutes. There. The biscuits are ready. There we are. We just need to leave them to cool down for a couple of minutes. So how are those sweets coming along, Small? Ready when you are, Ben. All present and correct. Which colour would you like first? Oh, that doesn't matter, Small. We're going to have multicoloured flowers. Mary Mary will love that. Thanks very much. You've messed up all my sweets, Ben. Oh, sorry, Small. <laughs> These are cool now, so I'm going to pop in the boiled sweets. One there, one there, another one in there, one there, and that one, and then that one. Brilliant! Multicoloured flower biscuits. Oh, Mary Mary's going to love these. And don't worry if your boiled sweet doesn't fill up the hole you've cut out. 
they'll spread out once they're in the oven, which is where they're going right now. So, oven gloves on, and we pop them back in the oven for another three minutes. And remember to get your grown-up helper to do this bit for you, because the oven is hot, hot, hot. There we go. And now we wait. They're as pretty as real flowers, Ben. Merry, merry, quite contrary, he's going to love these. Oh, no doubt about it, Small. Just look at the light shining through. Mmm, they look great. Fancy flowers coming through. So what do we do now? Can we play? Not yet. Time to clean and put away. Hooray! Wash, wipe, scrub and clean. Make the kitchen sparkle and gleam. My name's Ben and my name's Small. We've got the cleanest kitchen of all. Tidy all the bits and bobs, the things that help us do our job. Ingredients we'll put away, ready for use another day. Pots and pans will start to smell, if we don't wash them really well. And now it's clear, let's all smile, we'll be finished in a little while. All around, up and down, we've got the cleanest cafe in town. Aha, here comes the plate. Hey! It looks like Mary Mary enjoyed her fancy flowers. And look, Small, there's a note. Well, what does it say? What does it say? Let's see, shall we? It says, Dear Big Cook Ben and Little Cook Small, the fancy flowers were yummy! <laughs> and to say thank you, here's some real flowers from my garden. Isn't that kind? Ben? Are you thinking what I'm thinking? I think I might be. What are you thinking? Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Aunt Millie! Oh, hey. See you soon! See you soon! Oh, yeah. Big cook, little cook, welcome to 